Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are all doing good. Welcome to physics class. I hope you are all ready with physics textbook, notebook, pen, pencil, etc. Children, shall we start now? See children, in this session, we are going to learn with a new chapter called chapter 2, loss of motion. In this session, we are going to learn the following subtopics in loss of motion. They are force, statement given by Aristotle, Galileo's statement and his experiment, inertia, introducing Newton's loss of motion, and finally it is concluding with uh, Newton's first law. Before going to start the session, Let's answer a few of questions on the screen. What is the cause of motion of body? Yes, it's nothing but force. Second question on the screen. What are the units for force? Guess children. Yes, Newton or Dyne. Next final question. What is force? Yes, it's nothing but it's a push or pull. It's a push or pull. Let's know about force. What is force? And simply it is called push or pull. In simple way, it is defined as push or pull. In detail, force is defined as the external cause which changes the position or shape of the object. I repeat, the external cause which changes position or shape of the object. Force is of two types, contact forces, non-contact force. There are some, some contact forces, weight force, W, applied force, F. Similarly, non-contact forces. There are gravitational force, electrostatic force, magnetic force. Clear? Fine. See children, observe the picture. What is the natural state of this body? It is at rest. According to Aristotle, he given as he stated that the natural state of body is at rest. Clear? According to sorry, Aristotle stated that the natural state of body is at rest. Later, the scientist Galileo Galilei, he stated an object in motion remains in its state of motion unless an external force act on it. Galileo Galilei performed the experiment by using frictionless inclined plane in three cases. In the first case, he released the marble from certain height and observed the height reached on the other side. What about the height reached by the body in the other side? Yes, it reaches the same in the second case, reduce the angle of upward slope and do the same experiment. Height which is same, distance traveled is more. Isn't it? Yes. In the case three, if there is no slope to go up, then what will happen? What distance it traveled? Yes, it's infinity distance. It's moving on continuously unless an external force act on it. Fine, according to Galileo Galilei. And finally, he concluded that 
the natural state of a moving body is in uniform motion if there is no external forces so natural state of a body is at rest is stated by aristotle the natural state of moving body in uniform motion stated by galileo galilei based on ideas developed by aristotle and galileo sir isaac newton proposed some fundamental laws called laws of motion this laws of motion gives the relation between motion and force newton's proposed to the only mainly three laws of motion the three laws of motion or newton's first law newton's second law newton's third law here newton's first law gives the relation between mass and inertia newton's second law gives the relation between force and acceleration newton's third law tells action and reaction gives the relation before going to understand the newton's laws let's understand the concept inertia what is inertia the natural tendency of an object to resist change in its state is called inertia when an object is at rest it prefers staying to be at rest when an object is in motion it prefers staying in motion inertia is of two types inertia of rest it is also called as static inertia second one inertia of motion it is also called as dynamic inertia let's know about inertia of rest or static inertia the inability of a body to change its state of rest by itself is called static inertia when we stand in bus and the bus suddenly start we tend to fall backwards a person here standing in bus the bus suddenly start he tend to fall backwards due to inertia of rest before that his body is at rest his body wants to be at rest but when bus starts suddenly he tend to fall backwards there is one more example make a circular strip from a thick paper and balance balance the hoop on the center of the mouth of the bottle now a pen cap is placed on the paper hoop give a sharp push with your fingers as fast as you can we observe the pen cap suddenly falls into the bottle when we push paper hoop we applied force on the paper hoop so changed its state from rest to motion due to gravitational force the pen cap falls into the make a stack of carom coins on the board give a sharp hit at the bottom of the coin we can find that the bottom of the coins move away the remaining settle down when we apply force on the bottom coin the coin will move due to change in its state of rest the stack of remaining coins does not fall vertically due to inertia of rest what about inertia of motion inertia of motion it is also known as dynamic 
inertia right the inability of a body to change its state of motion by itself when we stand in a moving bus the bus suddenly stops we tend to fall forwards due to inertia of motion see this per person here is a person standing in a moving bus the bus suddenly stops he tend to fall forwards due to inertia of motion here the person resist in its state of motion and come to rest clear and what about static inertia the the body at rest always try to stay at the same state of rest it does not accept any change in its position until some force act on it this property is known as static inertia let's know about dynamic inertia the body which is in motion always tries to move in same direction until some force act on it this property is known as dynamic inertia do all the objects have same inertia what factor decides the inertia yes it's nothing but mass mass is the factor which decides the inertia different objects have different inertia let's see here two objects whose masses are 6 kg as 12 kg has more inertia than 6 kg because 12 kg mass more mass and more inertia mass is directly proportional to inertia here inertia is directly proportional to mass as there is more mass more inertia as there is less mass less inertia clear now let's discuss newton's first law it is also called as law of inertia right an object at rest tends to stay at rest or an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force right there are some examples when the carpet is beaten with a stick the dust particles comes out initially the dust particles are at rest in the carpet when it is beaten with stick the dust particles get disturbed due to inertia the dust particles comes out of it luggage kept on the roof of a bus tied with rope as the bus moves the luggage also moves with the velocity of the velocity equal to the velocity of the bus if the bus suddenly stops the luggage resists to change its state of motion hence due to inertia it will fall down to avoid this the bus sorry to avoid this luggage kept on the roof of a bus tied with the a rope clear right see children in this session what we have learned we have learned force and its types aristotle's statement galileo's statement inertia and its types with examples introducing newton's laws of motion and newton's first law clear 
right here is the test test yourself you have one minute time your time starts now Check your answers. Yes, good, very good. With this, we have come to the end of the today's session. Here is a task. Complete this task on time. In the upcoming session, we'll discuss linear momentum and Newton's second law with examples and applications. Newton's third law with examples. I hope you are all understood well, children. Happy learning. Take care.